here is two box 4.5 and here I have two chemicals loaded on the data matrix. Once you're in two box, you can enter your target chemical by some of these possible ways by cast name structures etc or you can load your own custom list in my case i loaded my custom list co consisting of two chemicals now i do not need to do anything more here just to go directly to data gap filling module where i'm seeing the button for automated workflows. Click on the button, invokes the window with all available automated workflows, including the custom ones if I have created such. Documentation for each of these workflows is available, including this automated workflow for defined approaches. It could be seen from here. And uh, th this is the view of the documentation. Let's select the automated workflow for defined approaches. Once confirm my choice, the workflow editor with the logic implemented for the selected workflow will be shown. From the section, with execution buttons, I can start the logic. Because now I have two chemicals on the data matrix, I am seeing this message. I want to obtain prediction for both of these chemicals, so I click yes. And furthermore here, I want to see all of the steps which are done in toolbox automatically. Because of that, I'm unselecting this box and confirm. Now the two box starts automatically to apply the implemented logic. Let's minimize this window and to see what's happening. At first, as I mentioned, the workflow is trying to find is there any protein binding word identified in our target chemical? In this case, you can see that no word has been identified in our target chemical as parent. However, on a word for protein binding has been identified as a result of activation. Because of that, the analogs will be searched taken into account their metabolic activation. Once appropriate analogs are found, then the prediction is accepted automatically and two box continue with the second chemical in the list. In this case, you can see that no word is identified in the parent structure and no word has been identified as a result of auto-oxidation uh, and as a result of skin metabolism. Because of that, analogs here are searched based on structural characteristics of the target chemical. Once such structurally similar chemicals are found, then the system will remove automatically all of them that have no award are uh, either as parent or as a result of abiotic or biotic activation in order the analogs to be the same as our target chemical, having no word as parent or as a result of abiotic and biotic activation. Finally, the workflow shows this message that the, uh, it is finished and predictions are obtained for both of these chemicals. In order to see the final results from the automated workflow, or this means the predictions along with domain information, we need to go back to this level where we have entered these two chemicals. Now, here, 
we can see indication that the first chemical is predicted positive as a result of Rita cross and it is in domain. However, the second chemical is predicted negative as a result of profiling. This means only based on theoretical knowledge or no appropriate analogs have been found. And furthermore, this prediction is out of domain. Let's see why this prediction is out of domain. Double click on the result. We'll highlight the reason or this chemical is out of domain due to the structural layer of the domain. Let's see more details. I am explaining this. And now I can see that my target chemical has above 91% fragments that are known for the system. However, there is small percentage of fragments that are un unknown for the automated workflow. Or this means that there are no chemicals in the training set of the automated workflow having such fragments. Let's see which are these fragments. If I am go, go to unknown fragments, I can see exactly which are the fragments that do not present in any of the training set chemicals. 